Got a question from Kinaza Mays. How do you know your brokers is looking out for your best interests? For example, do brokers lean towards certain banks that get better kickbacks? That's a really good question. Since the Royal Commission on Brokers, pretty much all home loans get the same commission rate. And I'll show you. For example, on a $1 million home loan, the upfront commission is 0.6% plus GST. That's about $6,600 because $600 is for GST. And if you want to get more technical, brokers get 0.25% trail monthly on the balance of the loan. This is across all banks, non-banks, and second tier, third tier lenders. So when a broker gives you their top four home loans, they all at the end get the same commission rate. So to answer your question, there is no special or extra special kickbacks from selecting a bank against another bank. Having said that, you did ask me what to look out for. So here are three things to look out for when using a mortgage broker. If a mortgage broker gives you a recommended product, for example, uh, product C with an interest rate of blah, 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 always Google the rate quoted. And if you find that the rate is actually higher than what was Google, then you sort of know something's going on. Secondly is fee for service. Now what that means is, is when a broker engages you as a client, they are supposed to tell you whether they have fees that they charge you up front. And if they do charge a fee, they need to tell you if that fee is refundable upon settlement of your home loan or whether they're just keeping that. They are not allowed to charge you a fee in the middle of the process of applying for the loan. They're supposed to tell you at front. If you do find them sneaking a fee in between the application process or near the end of it, do dob on them with ASIC. And number three, when they do suggest a product for you, for example, from A to B to C to D, they need to provide a product comparison with four to five different lenders. And from those four to five different lenders, it has to stipulate fees that each lender's charge, costs of extra bells and whistles like offset accounts. They'll also issue you a credit guide. A credit card is basically a document that they give you up front when you are engaging a broker that shows you a breakdown of all the commissions from different banks. It also shows you a complaint process if you do have a complaint against them and how to complain against them and which numbers to contact. Now this is all built in since the Royal Commission that happened about a few years ago which introduced a bunch of compliance paperwork. Hopefully that answers your question.